hey ladies how you doing yes it's been a week I haven't made a video but I decided today I was gonna make two videos so I can kind of catch up on my natural hair tour but I said I would do it every Friday and I didn't do one on Friday and it was because I had a rough week and I just couldn't get the videos out like I wanted to but needless to say if you follow me on Instagram you will be up to date with what's going on. I kind of communicate a little bit better on Instagram. I'm trying to get Twitter, but ooh, I can't get it. I just, I'm on Twitter, but I'm not on it. I just, whatever I put on Instagram, it'll go to Twitter like that. But anyway, this is my Instagram link, so you can go ahead and just start following me. I'll follow you too. But um, yeah, I want to talk about uh, what made you go natural. It seems like these last two weeks, I've been getting asked, why did you go natural? What made you cut your hair? And I find people tend to ask that question because they're curious. Even women who may be relaxed or even women of other um, ethnicities, things like that. But I seem to get it. I'm sure you get asked too as well. What made you go natural? What made you cut your hair? What made you, what made you do this? And... <laughs> I just sometimes, I, either I giggle or I just be like, I just shake my head and kind of like roll my eyes inside and be like, does it really matter? But at the end of the day, the reason why I went natural, I went natural because I just wanted something new. I really did. And at the time, both my children were natural. My daughter's been natural from birth. I never put a relaxer in her hair. And even my, my little one, never put a relaxer in their hair. I've had a relaxer from young Poppy. 12 or 13 I've always had a relaxing and prior to that I was getting hot combs you know you get straightening combs so I was always in the process of always having my hair straight in some way for my fashion so I just was like I really just want a change and then you know being here on YouTube that's a lot of encouragement you know it's not about following the next person it's just encouragement knowing that you know you can cut your hair off into a short style like a big chop and you can still look good still look beautiful and you can still walk around like a presentable. People tend to think that the ones that ask the question, why did you go natural, tend to think, you need to relax your hair. You need to be straight. Like, you know, that, that whole big, um, what are they called? I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words, but people tend to think you can look better with your hair straight or some chemically relaxed or something like that. But the, the reason why I just wanted something new and I wanted to try it, and I was just tired of my hair being thin. I still had a, a nice um, head of hair. It was long, but I knew it could be thick. Because I'm looking at my children's hair. I'm looking at all my old pictures when I was little. Even when I was in my early 20s and 30s, you know, my hair was just different. But as you get older, of course, you know, everything wears and tears and loses its original form. But that's the reason why I pretty much went natural. I just wanted something different. I just wanted to just... Be free, be clear, and just start something new in my life as I was moving on in life and doing different things. Now, my goals, and that's another thing I want you to know. When you went, why did you go natural? Why did you big chop transition, whatever the case may be? What were your goals? What was the, what did you expect out of it? And what I expected, not only a head full of hair, but to just understand, my, understand yourself. Because when you do certain things in your life, you tend to reflect. So I wanted to get a nice, full, healthy head of hair in addition to see who Kelly was, see who, what I wanted, how, where was I at in my life to see if I was even strong enough to do something like this. Because not for nothing, it takes a lot of courage to go out and just cut your hair off and do a big job. You know, you're going to go through all kind of different feelings, emotions, and things like that but it does take a lot of courage take a lot in you to just do it so I want to see where I was as a woman and that was my goal to see and I and I saw it and I found it and and I in my in my other expectations I didn't expect to say oh, I'm gonna cut my hair and I want to have long luscious natural hair no because I, I, I like my hair short I, I didn't I'm not gonna taper my hair again I'm just gonna let my hair go out but I'm probably going to always wear it in a nice, confined style. Because I like the fact that my hair is just where it is. It doesn't move. I'm going to worry about fixing it, touching it, and things of that nature. question is to you. Why did you go natural? What were your goals and expectations? And how are you doing now with it? You know, where are you at 
you know, you, where are you at within yourself? Like, are you comfortable being natural? Do you still have any, you know, like regrets? Are you still trying to find a way to make yourself feel good about it? You know, it's it's a lot. You know, it's a whole nother world when you're in this state. So please share that with me in the comments below and. Please, everyone, you know, chime in. Let me know your thoughts and things like that. And we move forward from there. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Thanks for subbing. I really appreciate it. And, and what's up to all my faithful ones that have been in from day one. I so, so appreciate you guys. And hope to see some new things coming up soon. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye.